G'day, this is Simon from the Bracketeer at South OC Cars and Coffee. What a great turnout today. You know, it started off a little bit quieter. We thought we were going to be affected because there's a couple of other car shows on today, but not the case. We're full. Some really great stuff here, some cool exotics, some great classics. Hey, let's go for a walk and check it out. Show you this C10. This thing is amazing. Running a magnet charger on a uh, LS. Very nicely done. Uh, just speaking to the owner, we will have this along with so many other really cool cars at the Chip Foose weekend on Saturday, July the 3rd. So if you are around, want to do a good thing for charity, of course, Chip has his amazing charity called Amy's Depot, uh, bringing awareness and raising funds for a progeria. Um, we'll have this and some other really cool cars including uh, some of Chips at the show as well. So what a really, really nice truck. This thing is certainly a uh, car of the week contender, that's for sure. So this cool little Fiat Malta, Multipla belongs to Hal, one of our volunteers is over here. Hi Hal. Simon. This has been a previous car of the week winner and it blows me away how many people can actually sit in this car. It's like, how many, is it six people? We can six, six, six but if you put one in the middle, in the front you can have seven. That's insane, that's absolutely crazy. You look at the number of people, if it, and we've spoken about this before, tiny little engine but geared in such a way that there's no problem going up a hill or it's just not gonna go very fast, right? It's just not gonna go fast, is right. This, this is such a great, great little car. Uh, you've been coming to Cars and Coffee since we very first started up in Target all those years ago, back in 2015, and now, of course, of one of our volunteers as well, which we greatly appreciate. This thing, it's interesting. This little thing gets as much attention as any other car that we have here, and, and uh, I just love the fact you bring it out and share it, and also your efforts. So thank you so much, Hal. You're welcome, Simon. It's uh, always a pleasure to be here. It's fun today. It is a fun day. A little bit quieter today, which is, uh, which is good for us. Speaking of volunteers, another one here. This is Dave, this is his Mustang. Um, great car, great volunteer you offer. If you're one of the uh, exotic people that bring. Trained by good people. Trained by good, yeah. I was gonna say, if you're one of the exotic people, not the exotic people, but if you drive an exotic car, you've probably seen, probably seen Dave parking cars, but uh, always great to have you here, mate. Thank you for bringing it along. When this drove in, I had no idea what I was looking at. Uh, Bob, one of our workers, says it's a Subaru. Believe it or not, it is a Subaru. You know, we look at Subarus and we think of Foresters and those sort of things, but check this little thing out. This is smaller than a Fiat 500. And uh, looking in there, it's got the that little, uh, I think, boxer engine in there. Could be wrong, but it, it's just a, tw it's a twin. Well, you could do a boxer engine in a twin BMW doing their motorcycles, right? But it's just a two-cylinder. What a great little car. Look at it. Tiny, and look at the way the wheels go on. Isn't that cool? Great little car. Check out this spectacular 1960 Bel Air bubble top. They don't make cars like this anymore. Beautiful looking interior. Houndstooth, isn't that great? He's just leaving us here. Isn't that great? Of course, 59 had those teardrop tail lights. 60, they went away from it because they, they didn't get the support. Now a 59 is something people want because of those, those tail lights, of course. But that is a cool looking car. Hey, speaking of cool looking cars, Michael's coming down here in his Chevelle. Check this thing out. This is one of the toughest sounding cars we ever get at the show. Um, smelling a bit rich, but the amount of horsepower this thing has got, naturally aspirated, is not surprising. By the way, 396, that motor's a lot bigger than that these days. Isn't that great?
Isn't it great to see these classic old Datsuns, this 1970 240Z, all looking pretty original. Great little car. Of course, these really put uh, Datsun on the map. And this is a great example of a really, really neat little car. Nicely done. I don't know if this is restored or if this is original, but it looks really, really good. Aerial Atom, one of the best track day cars ever built. If you watch Top Gear, and I'm just in the process of going through all the old episodes now, you may remember seeing an episode where Jeremy Clarkson drives one of these, and the wind, this thing's got a windshield, the one he drove didn't, and he didn't have a full face helmet on. The wind in his face distorted his face so much, it made him look even uglier than he normally does. Uh, these came in various different engines. There was a, uh, the basically the Civic engine, a little Honda engine, uh, but then they did a supercharged version and uh, then I believe they also went to a V8, but I think the supercharged uh, Honda motor was the one that was supposed to be the one that was most fun to drive because it wasn't overpowered and it wasn't uh, adding extra weight to it. But uh, you know what? You offered me any one of them, I'd love to get in and have a strap. Great little car, just such a visceral experience. Probably the closest thing you're gonna have to uh, riding a motorcycle, but on four wheels. Interestingly, on that note, uh, on that episode of Top Gear, they raced this around their track against a superbike, and, and this thing actually won because it was quicker into the corners. So, incredible little car, always great to see them. There is some serious rubber on this thing, serious stance. I've got the number of a really good wheel alignment guy if they need to strain those wheels up. Um, obviously, bagged, and this thing probably straightens up. Somebody spent a ton of money on this thing, made it what they wanted to be good for them. Roll cage in it. Serious business, looks really good. Nicely done. That is it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. Hey, thanks for watching, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe by pushing that button below. Hey, big thank you to all of our sponsors to share to Next Level Detailing, also Next Level Mobile Detailing. They did my truck and my Camaro earlier this week. They do a great job. Teen Road to Safety, Classic Industries, Pacific Air Cooled. We could not do the show without you, so thank you so much. Big thank you, of course, to our volunteers. We really appreciate you guys. Um, if you want to volunteer, please just let us know via Instagram, Facebook, or our website. Just all go and see Sarah at the merchandise table. Hey, speaking of merchandise, what do you think of the new shirt? This is available now, as are some other shirts. If you haven't got a Father's Day gift yet, what about thinking about one of these, huh? Big thank you to the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. Please make sure to support all of the shops, so thank you. And of course, to Rockwell's and Ruby's for bringing out the coffee and the donuts. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.